Sports to the Bone family. Greetings, greetings, greetings on this Friday evening. Yes, my beautiful people. Time for us to take a look again on that first T20 game against Australia. You know, at the end of every game, I like to get the perspective of a player. Any, any one of the players are from the, on, on, on the team. Now, we see where Brandon King, he did an interview after the game. And he was speaking, you know, about where things went wrong and uh, what the group needs to do going forward. So we're going to take a look at a couple of the things that he said. And as per usual, I will give my opinion, my commentary as we go along. So just give a listening ear until the end. And let me know what you all think in the comment section. So Brandon King was saying that, you know, it ended up being a close game. Got off to a good start. You know, saying that we really and truly needed to get off to a good start if we were going to chase down um, that total. You know, um, he was saying that it was just a little bit too much in the end. But it was a total, it was a game that was pretty close. Now, in the video that I did this morning, giving the recap of the scorecard, quite a few people were saying that the bowlers did okay. It was the batsmen that um, should have gotten the score. And I saw where a few people were saying that, you know, the feeling was poor. We put down a couple of catches and things. Um, I started watching when the West Indies um, were batting, so I didn't get a chance to see us in the field. You know, but the old cliche, catches win matches. It will, it will always stay. It will, it will always stay, my people. Catches will win matches. So we need to take our catches, especially in these um, shorter formats. You understand? Um, uh, King was talking about the team coming into this game. You know, he, he spoke about himself personally, saying that coming from the T20 franchise scene, coming into Australia, you know, they were definitely, he was looking forward to it. And it so happened that he got an opportunity to go out there on a pitch that was good for batting. So, you know, it was just all about adjusting to the conditions and um, just going out there to see if he could get the team off to a good start. And uh, that was done. He alongside Johnson Charles, they put, um, put on upwards of 80. I think it was about 89 before we lost the first wicket. So, you know, it was just a matter of the, 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 the Australians um, bowling. Um, a little bit tighter than we did you know he was you, you know in all of these interviews our press press mat and press conference the guys are always talking about the team saying that it's a good unit it's a well gel a well oiled machine so that was that is what brandon king was saying that you know it's a good um group together they have been together for close to a year now or a little over a year and um you know they won the last three series coming in so the idea is to try and secure a victory in this series here, win this series against Australia, and continue the momentum into the T20 um, World Cup. He also spoke about the power play, you know, saying that he it's it's good, you know, he's happy that he's able to bat in the power play. So it's always about getting the team off to a good start, utilizing um, that 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 era there where they only have a couple of my, a couple of uh, feelers outside the thirty yard circle, so you know um, whenever he gets a chance to bat in the power play alongside Johnson Charles or whoever is opening with the, the the idea is to always get the team off to a good start, make sure that they are trying to get as many boundaries as possible, and uh, make sure that the team is moving in the right direction. You know he was speaking about strategies, um, saying that you know. Early up, it was all about strategizing, trying to stay away from the from the longer boundaries, and to make sure that you know the 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 areas that they targeted. Um, once they they made connection, it wasn't overly difficult to clear the boundary, even if the timing was a little bit off. Um, you know, he, he also spoke about the Australians, saying that their bowlers they bowled, um, you know, they 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 bowled. To their field, they bowl to the field uh, better than than than. Uh, not even want to say better than we did, but they did it um, properly. So that basically restricted our batsmen somewhat. I don't know because they had one man in the deep uh, in one specific era there. Abbott who took four catches and we 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 it seemed as if we fought, we, we we picked him out quite quite comfortably all the time. 
not sure if it's a case where they, they really and truly um set us up like that or we just we just we were just plain naive you understand um he was saying that the total the total wasn't um wasn't too much it wasn't too bad because it was a good batting wicket in my first video this morning i was saying that the wicket was probably um the, the, the bowlers probably uh needed to keep it a little a little bit tighter because we're not always gonna our batsmen they're not always gonna be able to score over 200 but on a wicket like that the guys that actually saw the entire game they were saying that no man sports to the bone the 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 the, 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 the bowling wasn't the worst in the world the batsmen should have gotten it and based on how i saw our guys batting we could have gotten it you know i i i didn't see us bowling but the, the batting those 11 runs we could have we we could have um overhaul those 11 runs my people not taking away anything from the aussies and, and and from their bowling but the way in which our guys batted in the middle there we definitely we really and truly could have um gotten those runs you know we would have seen um we saw how poor and got out we see we saw andre russell rutherford all of the guys in the middle there how they got out it was tough you understand and uh, 11 runs uh, in, the, in t20 cricket uh, you win by 11 runs it's still a, a good a good win you understand because he's you know he's, he's, sometimes it go down to to single digit five six two one so to, to win from 11 it's it's still a nice win but um we probably need to step it up my viewers and subscribers so king was saying that going in to the uh, the next game there we just need to improve on those little areas um give a little one or two uh, more percent of effort and we probably will get uh will get across the line so it's going to be interesting to see how the net out or the or the second game goes we need to make sure that we win that game level up the series and then set up um the third game um for the decider uh the, the t20 is where our strength is now it would appear or this is where all the hype is so the guys just need to go out there they can't get clean sweep so we have to circle we have to try and, and and level things up in the second game and then we take it from there in the third game so that is pretty much it for this one my viewers and subscribers just wanted to let you guys get the perspective of one of the players it's always um i always like to do that after each game just listen to the interv um, interview and um you know just to just come forward and, and let you guys hear exactly what um the players are actually saying so that is pretty much it my people We're gonna leave it right here for now hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day and we will touch base again pretty soon you know later on today i will more than likely be giving you guys a quick recap of how um day three of the four day regional championship went so just continue to stay tuned if you have not yet subscribed we are on our way to our what, 16 000 subscribers hit that subscribe button man and tell a friend to tell a friend to subscribe big up on yourself